Hi, I'm Joshua here with MedfordTools.com, here to talk to you today about our sink notching hardware and software, the most affordable and simplest way we know how to tubing notch. In one of our previous videos, we did a double 90 degree notch on this piece of tubing. We showed how using our hole saw notcher, we could create a notch here and here to have a clean fitment and good weld joint spot. Today, we're gonna do two different notches. One being a double 45 degree notch and one being an acute notch. That being the first notch we're going to attempt today. We're going to do what normally is done with a double 45 degree. We're going to do with a 55 and a 35 degree to highlight the capabilities of our Sync 180 Junior hardware and software. On our Sync 180 Junior, we have the ability to notch from either side of the tubing this jig is where the Sync 180 Junior gets its name from. The ability for the arm, which in this case is set at 55 degrees, can swing around exactly 180 degrees to be able to notch from either side of the tubing. The Sync 180 Junior jig is especially helpful at greater angles. Our software that we built with the Sync 180 Junior allows us to calculate where to notch from the end of the tubing for the teeth to align correctly for a proper notch. In this particular case, we're using inch and a half 095 wall tubing, and our software calculates that it should be two inches from the end of the tubing. Using our sink bevel and scale, we can mark out two inches from the end of the tubing. We're going to slide the arbor forward to minimize chatter and maximize stability of our notch. We're gonna rotate the tubing so the mark aligns with the teeth of the hole saw so we have a correct and accurate notch. That is the point where hole saws will bottom out and show the differences and the advantages of the Sync 180 Junior system for hole saw notching. Now that we've bottomed out this side of the tubing notch, without using any other tools, we can rotate the drill and the hole saw around 180 degrees with the handle loosened. And that quick release handle is what allows us to easily and accurately realign the notching arm and the hole saw and arbor so you can realign to be 55 degrees just as we were in the other position. Now that the Sync Junior arm is in the correct position on our 180 degree jig, this jig allows us to continue the notch that we started and have a clean notch. Fifty-five degrees. Now that we're ready to do our next notch, we can reposition the notcher into the 35 degree angle for the next notch. Now that our tubing has been deburred, we have our 55 degree angle on this side and it does have a nice fitment. However, if you try to measure this tubing in this position, they are in two separate planes, so you do not have an accurate ability for measurement. The jig we have come up with on this particular video is fairly simple. An average piece of one and a half inch tubing, the same tubing that we're using for the notching, and a shop clamp. So that way the tubing can be positioned in the same angle for measurement. So we have our tubing ready for fitment, we have our tubing ready to be measured, and we can measure our tubing with our centerline finder. 
Our center line finder helps us find the center line of the tubing at two intersecting points of tubing. Now that we have our initial mark on the tubing, we can use our sink bev to draw a line for our center line reference and we can use our snap collars, which we used in our last video, to use that center line that we drew as a reference point. We are going to position our snap collar along that center line in a 90 degree perspective from above between the two pieces of intersecting tubing. This upper piece that we're notching and the lower piece that we are mating it to. If you do not align them from a 90 degree perspective, your alignment will be off. Now that we have our intersection point between our two pieces of tubing, we can draw a line underneath that snap collar and we can use that as a reference point for where the end of the tubing needs to be cut. Our Sync 180 Junior software tells us that for one and a half inch tubing 095 wall, we would need to cut one inch below the intersection point for enough tubing room for our notch. Now that our tubing has been cut to length, we can put our snap collar back on our tubing because due to the 35 degree angle cut that we need to make, the marks that we made are now on the bottom of the tubing and our snap collar can reference the opposite side and your snap collar facing you at the same side as your hole saw will allow for a correct notch. We're using a piece of flat stock in our shop so the center line finder has a flat even space to reference for and our marks on our center line finder allow us to use the snap collars locating degree and the marks on the center line finder to correctly align the center line of our tubing. When we remove those, we can then align our hole saw and snap collar mark for an accurate start to our 35 degree notch. Now that the tubing has been deburred, we can join up our two pieces for an accurate and solid joint, 55 and 35 degrees, creating a solid, visually appealing brace. As mentioned in our previous video, we are going to do a complex double 45 degree notch using our notcher and snap collar to illustrate the ease of creating such a complex notch without a bunch of extra tools. The way we're going to show you today is taking a piece of tubing and doing a double 45 degree notch to meet the fitment of two existing adjoining pieces of tubing. All right, we are ready to put our tubing in place for our first 45 degree notch. The way we achieve that is by putting our Sync 180 jig in line with our notcher, which is currently set at 45 degrees. And with our jig in position, we are ready to find the center of the tubing with the center of the hole saw. When we achieve that center line of the tubing with the center line of the hole saw, we will be able to notch our first 45 degree cut. As before, the hole saw will bottom out at a certain point on tubing and we will adjust our jig to go around 180 degrees with our arm in place. We can clamp our arm and we can move the arbor block forward 
to reduce our chatter and we can complete our 45 degree notch. In order to reference our tubing to keep it clocked correctly, we're going to use our one and a half inch snap collar and we're going to align the 90 degree marking on one side of the snap collar with our first jaw on our Sync 180 Junior. Loosen the jaw on the Sync 180 Junior and then rotate the tubing exactly 180 degrees using the second 90 degree mark on the snap collar in reference with the same jaw. Once we have that aligned, we can then re-drill for our second 45 degree notch. With a successful deburring, we can now align our double complex 45 degree notch into place and you successfully have a clean mate for a smooth, even weld. In this video, we were able to cover our complex double 45 notch as well as our acute bracing notch with multiple angles and demonstrate the advantages of the Sync 180 Junior hardware software family. We have a wide variety of tools in that hardware software family, not least of whom are the snap collars, which help you reference, which I think we successfully demonstrated today. You also have the center line finder, which is extremely helpful in finding and maintaining a clean center line throughout the notching process. And last but not least, our Sync Bev product, our integrated bevel as well as scale for finding your correct measurements on your tubing, both angle and length. The notcher used in today's video is the Sync 180 Junior. In our opinion, the Sync 180 Junior is the most versatile hole saw notcher in the world. We say this because of its ability to do the following. Notch from either side of the tube up to 60 degrees, line up an opposing 180 degree notch accurately, offset a notch using shims, notch round tubing up to three inches, notch square tubing up to one and a half inches, notch curved tubing within the same plane, top load your material into the notcher, clamp the notcher directly onto tubing or pipe, change the angle of a notch without using any tools. And there are a few other features as well. Please check out the Sync 180 Junior on our website for complete features and pricing.